Yo, what's good, everybody? Gang is already back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my fall winter fashion accessories. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all some of the recent pickups that I've gotten accessory wise. I kind of left out some of the accessories when I made the fall winter fashion trends video, but I kind of wanted to throw some hats and bags and glasses and stuff like that in here. I also got some jewelry too, which is absolutely insane. So what I need you guys to do is make sure you watch the whole video all the way through. Go down and smash the like button right now. I need you to smash the like button. Matter of fact, let's try to get this to 3K likes. If we can get this to 3K likes, bruh, we're going to be growing in this thing, you know what I'm saying? But I do got some crazy pieces to show you guys today, and some of them actually wouldn't be possible without the sponsor of the video, which is smartbuyglasses.com. Now, smartbuyglasses.com has actually a huge variety. Matter of fact, like thousands of designer brands to choose from at an unbeatable price. So that link will actually be down in the description. I actually have a discount code for you guys as well, which will be Jaden10. Now, you can paste this onto your checkout, and it will take 10% off of your order i believe they are also having like discounted at almost 70 percent for like some of the designer glasses so that 10 percent will actually be an extra add-on so you get 10 more you know what i'm saying percent off when you go to use my code but what they do have is some pretty cool options they have this option to where you can actually virtually try on the glasses before you purchase them we'll go ahead and go through right here let me go ahead and put my screen record on so we got the screen record going on right now for the virtual try on and pretty much all you'll do is you'll just scroll down pick some glasses that you would like to virtually try on you'll tap the little try on virtually and i already got one going right there as you can see but um i had to test it out before the video by the way but so the screen record like stopped when i was recording the actual thing but y'all could kind of see it um but here you have it right there and you can see I have the glasses tried on. So if you wanna see how the glasses look before you purchase them, which is kind of obvious because who doesn't want to see how it looks before you buy something? You just go ahead, use that feature, and you'll be all straight. But like I said, you guys can use my code Jaden10, and all the links will be down in the description. But moving on to the glasses that I did end up picking up, I actually got two pairs. So this is the first one right here, and these are actually by Balenciaga. Specifically, these are the Balenciaga Acetate Sunglasses. These right here, bro, I must tell you are crazy. You know what I'm saying? First of all, premium packaging. It kind of has like this nice silver matte finish art shell case, I guess you could say, but pretty much has Balenciaga engraved all over it, which is actually really, really nice. You open it up, you have this nice silky dust free inside of a case. Then you have your glasses and of course you have your certificates and your cleaning cloth. So getting into the most important part which is the glasses now these are crazy bruh um these are the recent season balenciaga glasses they actually have these in a bunch of different colorways on the site as well but if you know balenciaga you probably seen these before these are some really like dope sporty looking glasses um balenciaga little logo right here on the left side of the frame then you have it on the inside on the right side Honestly, I feel like they should have added Balenciaga on both sides because, like, why not? You know what I'm saying? You're paying for Balenciaga. I want to see Balenciaga on this joint. But, no, nah, it is a dope little detail. It actually has it on the front of the frames as well. And the front of the frames actually kind of makes the whole thing look different because these are, like, a tortoise print on the front. And then, like, a sportier print. Or not sportier print, but sportier look on the side, which is kind of cool because you almost have a lifestyle type of glass glasses mixed with a sportier or like I always want to say like race or athletic but you have like a sportier type frame so these are really really cool um definitely gonna wear it probably with like a track jacket or I don't know these are just really cool um probably gonna wear it with some type of red accent because obviously you can see it right here on the side now the next pair of glasses that I got right here are from Montclair now when I seen these on the website I was like yo those are crazy probably gonna be like some concept outfit type glasses some joints that i'm probably gonna wear only once um but 
I think that they are insane. I think the craftsmanship on these are pretty dope as well. You will obviously get to see them, but it comes with this cool puffer case. Now we all know Montclair is known for making puffer jackets. So it's only right that they put them in a nice little enclosed puffer case, which actually has like this drawstring on it with a Montclair logo on the tip of it, which is a pretty cool touch. You know what I'm saying? At least you feel like you're getting something luxury. It would probably be nicer to have like a hard body case for anything luxury luxury just in case you're traveling and you don't want it to break and stuff but pretty cool detail um you have all of your cleaning cloth and stuff like that in the inside you also have your glasses right here now originally i believe this was the first like eyewear model for montclair they dropped it in 2016 but this one specifically i think is the more updated version of it so what you have is these leather patches on the side which kind of gives it like some cyclops like i don't even know how to explain like professor looking glasses like some experimental type joints but these are crazy they also have a leather detail in the front which actually has like a button so you can kind of like unsnap it and take it off if you wanted to but i think it's a cool detail because it's another montclair logo that just shows on the glasses so you got those now next up i have a piece from chrome hearts now you probably clicked the video because you wanted to see this piece but i recently went to chrome hearts actually matter of fact when i'm filming this video I bought it yesterday. So I went to the Chrome Heart store yesterday, which by the way, if you did want to visit the Chrome Heart store, you're going to have to set an appointment to go in the store. So if you're coming out here to visit and you're like, yo, I'm going to stop at the Chrome Heart store, they're not going to let you in unless you have an appointment. So I would book the appointment two days ahead. Like it's booked like two days in advance before you can actually go to the store and even look around, let alone buy something. So um, definitely do that. But I did go to the Chrome Hearts store and I personally was interested in jewelry. Like I'm, I think Chrome Hearts is cool. You know what I'm saying? I think the brand as far as clothes and t-shirts and hoodies is a bit overhyped. Everybody's like starting to wear it, even though it is super expensive and kind of still exclusive. I feel like the clothes are just a tad bit played out. So I personally am a huge fan of the jewelry, but the jewelry is like real, real expensive. So this is my first time actually experiencing the store. I walked in, um, the person that helped me was like real, real chill and nice. Um, she showed me around, showed me to the jewelry section. And I honestly went there for three things. I wanted to check out an earring. I wanted to check out rings. And I also wanted to check out a necklace. Now, when I went to the store, I actually tried on a necklace and it was pretty crazy. Crazy. The price on it was extremely hefty. I think it was about 1700 or so, which is wild for silver. But for what Chrome Hearts is, Chrome Hearts is really, really exclusive. And you can pretty much only purchase Chrome Hearts in store. So if you don't purchase Chrome Hearts in store, they don't really have an online presence. So you're not going to see anything on their actual website unless you go to another website like Grailed where it's pretty much used jewelry and you're buying it secondhand. But the exclusivity of it is why it costs so much and I ended up picking up a earring. Now, comes in a nice Chrome Hearts bag, um, has a little Chrome Hearts like envelope that has your receipt and stuff like that in it. But what you have right here is this nice chrome heart labeled dust bag and inside of it we got i can get it out we have the earring now this earring is specifically the large baby fat earring they have a couple of different earring options they have this one which actually has diamonds in it they have this one that i literally have which is like the plain version and then they have some smaller versions and stuff like that but this joint right here is it's fire bruh i ain't gonna lie the joint is fire but the only downside of it is is very very expensive this ran me for like three i think the original retail price is like 355 and it came out to like 380 with tax but the downfall is it's only one earring bruh yes one earring but I think that it looks really cool um, and for what it is like Chrome Hearts is super exclusive so like I said you can only buy it in store for the most part but this earring kind of held its value because when I went on Grailed and looked at the original price it's literally selling for the same price that I paid for it so this earring in particular um, buying it retail or buying it aftermarket is kind of going to be the same but i will say some other pieces in specific like the graveyard ring that i originally wanted to get 
that ring retailed for like 800 in store and i've seen it on grill used for literally like half price so in like that four or five hundred range so if you were looking to buy jewelry i would definitely try to buy it second hand or at least look at the second hand prices first before you try to go in store and buy it but this one in particular is fire it's i wish it was a bit bigger or i would be honestly completely satisfied with my purchase if it was two earrings but you know what i'm saying it is what it is i guess um if you can afford comb hearts like it's definitely cool to have pieces but i wouldn't stress myself over it if you can't afford it don't buy chrome hearts bro but if you can they are some really really cool exclusive pieces so now next up we have a piece of jewelry that people have been asking about because i've slightly shown it and i've worn it just a little bit but we have this necklace right here from Evade. Now, if you've seen people like Rocky's been wearing this joint, um, it's been a couple of other artists that have been wearing it, but Evade pretty much makes these like handcrafted beaded necklaces that like stand out a lot and you'll see but it comes in a cool little plastic bag um with some graphics and stuff on it but that's really not important you know what i'm saying but what you have here is the beaded necklace i think i can't remember what the exact model of this one is they do have a couple of different models and they have different beads and gems or whatever you would call this it pretty much has like a nice little pearl it has a little butterfly on it some like springs to kind of space it out then what stands out the most is the little smiley faces and the dice honestly i think this adds a cool look to any other chain that you're wearing i usually wear this joint with the leaks buckle chain that i have and i feel like it just it just stands out perfectly um it's also adjustable so you can kind of pull both strings on the side and make it big enough to put around your head and then you can adjust it to however tight or loose that you want it so um i usually kind of put it just to almost about an 18 inch or so maybe 20 but i think it adds a really cool look to the outfit next we have the very very asked about hat from san juan now this is one of my favorite fall trucker hats because it's brown and we all know brown is a huge fall colorway what it has is the la graphic or the la dodgers logo and then it has it flipped in like a symmetrical look which i think is absolutely crazy it has some nice san juan stitching labeled on the side of the hat but overall just a great trucker keeping along the lines of trucker hats i actually have this black and white hat right here now this hat fits a lot different it's a lot shorter than the san juan one i'm actually a bigger fan of the san juan of how large it is or how much taller it is because it actually fits my head better but this hat is also dope and it's pretty much by public demand public demand is a brand that is up and coming um you probably haven't heard of them yet but now you have and they have this fire trucker hat bro lastly for the hats we got a beanie now i know y'all was on my head for not including hats in the fall winter 2020 fashion trends video but i do got some hats right here and i got a beanie now beanies are obviously gonna be in season so i got this one right here from my boy Demolis. i've shown this brand off a couple of times on the channel but right here he has this new collection and it has 444 patched on the front of it which i think is dope that yellow and black contrast the blue perfectly so this is definitely a hat i'm gonna be wearing y'all gonna be seeing me in this hat during this fall winter 2020 season but i think it's dope man lastly for the hats we got this one right here that i actually was supposed to show off a long time ago but i didn't end up including it but it's this bucket hat right here from my boy over at mxdvs and he killed it with this hat bro like this is something i feel like you should be wearing in like the desert or something but honestly i feel like it might be perfect for fall especially for those black outfits especially for like a halloween october november type season so you actually have these detachable face covers which is a pretty cool touch you might be able to just throw this hat on if you got to go in the store or something you know what i'm saying you know we gotta wear masks anyway so getting towards the end we have tote bags now honestly i didn't really used to wear tote bags like that until recently when i've been making like small runs and stuff like that especially when i'm going to like the p.o box to ship something off or grab something and these tote bags have come in handy bro i must say these ones in specific are from by all means i believe their instagram is by all means community but got them from them bandana printed on here and it's actually fire it's like just 
the perfect amount of sturdiness to where it's not like a flimsy cheap tote bag like this is like a tote bag tote bag you know what i'm saying so it's like just big enough to carry like whatever you'd be carrying in the tote bag so you got that in black you also have it in white i believe they have some other colorways as well um definitely finna tell them i need them joints but lastly we have this smooth duffel that i actually didn't show off on youtube i showed it on my instagram with a fit pick but we have this bag right here and it's a kid super and puma collab if you guys seen his collab or if you know about kid super he's a designer out of new york i believe he makes some pretty like wild stuff and he collabed with puma and they sent your boy over the bag so what you got is a whole bunch of details you have his kid super graphic on the front actually says kid super and a bunch of small text all spread out across the bag you have some people kind of like holding hands as like the monogram print of the bag then you have you know of course your small puma details on the hardware you have some nice leather handles and then you have this nice strap that says kid super puma all across it so you have that really nice bag so if you play i believe it's like a soccer bag you know what i'm saying so if you play soccer or you play any type of sports you have that nice pink interior plenty of space to carry like shoes or something like that but overall a very dope bag but that's pretty much it for the video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you go down and smash the like button for your boy we've been going crazy hit the subscribe button if you're new but that's pretty much it man i'll be back to you guys with more videos peace Tell me why I'm crying in these Saint Laurent's Yeah, yeah, these Saint Laurent's Tell me why I'm crying in these Saint Laurent's